Hey everybody, I am alive and I'm recording this on time and hopefully it's going to post it on time and if that happens that means I'm all caught up so that is awesome and what you don't know what just happened right before I started recording this is I have a little whiteboard cork board right over there on that wall and it fell on my head so even with the potential concussion that I just gave myself I am still recording Dedication. Dedication. This week, I and my cat, who is just below the camera frame, we're going to be talking about the human mind because it is such a dynamic thing and I think it's so interesting. It's not my field of study or anything. It's just interesting and sometimes I think really weird thoughts and this week that was one of them. I mean, don't you just find it amazing what we can teach ourselves? And then it's also pretty amazing the things that we seem to not retain and we have to be told a million different times and we still just don't get it. It's just mind-blowing, literally, what sticks inside of our brains. There's my cat, you can see her now. And on the note of brain waves or whatever, I just do not feel that I am anywhere near ready for adulthood. We're not going to talk about how many years I have been classified as an adult for because that just makes it seem a whole lot worse. I was not prepared well enough for the way life goes. The biggest issue on my list is why as children were we not informed of how hard it is to peel away the membrane of a grapefruit? I feel like that is something we should be told as small children. Just thrown out there in class. Hey, guess what? One day you're gonna try and peel it peel a grapefruit and you're going to find that it's the most difficult thing on the face of the planet. It's going to take you an hour to eat a grapefruit. I mean, you have to peel it, then you have to pick off all the little white membrane on it. If you don't want to taste it, I don't like the taste of it. And yeah, an hour. Just for one simple grapefruit. I would stick with an orange. If you want something quick, it takes you like 10 minutes. This is probably why they don't have a grapefruit and otter pop flavor. It's too difficult. Too difficult to get the flavoring. Let me just tell you, it was the first time I ate a grapefruit, and it just wasn't a fun experience to have to peel your grapefruit for that long before you can taste it. I mean, it was very suspenseful. The buildup was quite nice. I guess that's why they do it. Fruit buildup. I don't know. Just, just be forewarned. So I'm putting this out there on the internet because I want parents to inform their children of how difficult grapefruit peeling is. Maybe I'm just special. Maybe it's actually not that difficult. But if it is difficult for anyone else, this is my public announcement. This is a PSA for all of you. And children, if you're watching this for some reason, just know going in that peeling your first grapefruit is going to be rather difficult. She's never had to peel a grapefruit. That's why she's being so lovely right now. Here's what I will compare it to. If you can peel a grapefruit, you can do anything in your life. That's just how it's going to be. It's my new philosophy, actually. Why did I even start talking about grapefruits? What was I talking about before my grapefruit side story? Oh, right. The human brain. I was talking about how awesome it is, or something like that. Seriously, I believe that with a little bit of tenacity and a whole lot of stubbornness, we can do whatever we want, because our brains can retain stuff if we put our mind to it. I am, of course, basing this off of personal experience rather than scientific knowledge because sometimes science and I are not the best of friends. That is what my field of study is. It is a type of science. But sometimes we're still not friends. Stop it. My story for why this is, why I believe with a little bit of stubbornness and tenacity we can do something is because as a child, my whole entire family could roll their R's. Like, easily. They, I don't think they had to work at it at all, which isn't fair. Do you know how embarrassing it is to be in a family of people who can roll their R's and not be able to roll your R's? Yeah, my brothers use that as ammo in a lot of things, which I don't know why I took that so personally, but at that time I did. So I spent like a whole entire week focusing on just rolling my R's, and now guess who can roll their R's? Me. There's not an R in me, otherwise I would have rolled them. Radish bones! 
there we go. I can roll then. See? See what I just did? For that same reason, I can also touch my tongue to my nose. I don't know if you can see that from this far away, but I don't think you really care. And I can also make a clover out of my tongue. That one I have to be looking in a mirror to do, so I'm probably not doing it now. But I can do it. I, you just have to believe me. So, if I had only used my brain to learn something cool rather than those meaningless things that I have learned, like, that's not going to help me later on in life. But, but I can do them. Just, just imagine how awesome my life would be if I had put my brain to better use. Just take a moment to imagine it. I do a pan out into something cool, but I can't do anything cool. So I can't. can't show you that. Now, my goal for today, like the next five minutes, is to see if I can learn something new and exciting and put my brain to some better use. Which I probably can't because I failed. But we're gonna try. Juggling. How do you even, how does a person even juggle? I don't understand. This is wrong. Now, let's try it again. Yeah. Tightrope walking. Not a good plan. Balancing. about a five minute trial, maybe not even five minutes. I'm gonna say it was good. Yay for me getting my video out on time. Yay yeah. So thank you for watching. I'm no longer gonna say videos will be posted Wednesday because it's just gonna be a general videos will be posted sometime next week. Hopefully Wednesday if all goes well. But I'm not gonna limit myself because I think that time frame is really what makes me nervous. Even though I'm not nervous about it. But, yeah. So, video will be posted sometime next week. Hopefully Wednesday, if all goes well. And, yeah. Subscribe if you like. Subscribe if you kind of like. Definitely subscribe if you love. And if you don't like, I wouldn't recommend subscribing. Unless you like me. and Then, then we can be compadres. Have a great day and see you next week. Come on. Come on.